Hello, Consciously Parenting family, and welcome to our very first Conscious Coffee Break. I'm Jen Kobrick. I'm a holistic family consultant with the Consciously Parenting Project, and I'm going to be doing these live streams every Wednesday at 2 p.m. Eastern Time, right here on the Consciously Parenting page. And each week, we're going to talk about a different topic related to consciously parenting. And we're going to have these videos be about 15 minutes long. So they will be bite-sized little tidbits of information and hopefully inspiration to uh, help you bring these ideas into your own family and apply them throughout the week in between videos. So if you have topics that you'd like me to talk about, please feel free to let me know. Uh, you can send me a private message or post in our community group or, um, or on the comments. And of course, if you're joining me live today, please uh, say hi in the comments so I know you're here. And if you have any questions or anything, of course, you're welcome to post those in the comments. So our video today is mostly going to be an introduction to what this uh, Coffee Break series is all about. And then starting next week, we'll really dive into some topics. Um, so let me introduce myself to begin with. As I said, I'm Jen and I'm a holistic family consultant with the Consciously Parenting Project. And that means that I have completed a two-year training program with our founder, Rebecca thompson Hit, which is a deep, deep dive into uh, the principles and practice of consciously parenting, uh, research on child development, um, attachment, and a deep understanding of how we connect and how we heal. And I also bring my own background to this work, of course, which is in body work and breastfeeding support and a deep understanding of uh, social and cultural systems and human relationships. And so this is work that I'm really, really passionate about. And, um, and I love to see the transformations and healing and joy that happen in families. And uh, this team is not just me. We have a number of other uh, holistic family consultants that are a part of this team, including a Spanish speaking team. Um, so if you are a native Spanish speaker or more comfortable uh, sharing in Spanish, um, I invite you to join that group and page. And we also have uh, healing story circles um, that are run by various members of our team uh, in different time zones. We have consultants all around the world. Uh, so we're able to support people in different areas. Um, and then of course, our founder, Rebecca, who has written um, three and working on the fourth book in the Consciously Parenting series and has founded this whole um, system of, of support and information uh, that we are all so blessed to be a part of. Um, so this series is going to be, as I said, a weekly series with um, just little tidbits to, to help um, inspire and uplift your parenting journey. And I really do want to make sure that, that these videos are relevant and helpful to you and to your family. So um, the plan is <laughs> that I will, I will pick a topic and I'll announce it in the event for the week. So if you have questions or a situation that you're dealing with or something that you struggle with or a triumph, because we love to celebrate when, you know, when things go well and when there's a shift and something is working really well in your family. So, um, so please share those things in advance because when you do, then I can take those. And when I'm making my notes for the episode, I can make sure that I address what's specific to you. And then also please join live and there can be some back and forth in the comments. So if something I say, you need, to, you need to ask a question about or, or it reminds you of a situation that you've been dealing with, you can put that in the comments and we can do a little bit of you know, live back and forth and, and help figure out what's going on or if there's another way that something could be approached or, or maybe a part of your story that needs some space to be, to be heard and to be understood. Um, so these are also recorded, even though they're live. So if you're not able to join live, you can always catch up on them anytime. They'll always be on the videos tab of the Consciously Parenting Projects page. And um, you can always comment later and I'll see those comments and, and get back to them as well. So um, 
Uh, let's see, one other thing I wanted to say was that in the future, we may have some of our other consultants or even our founder uh, do some of these videos. But for the most part, um, it will be me here every Wednesday. And um, I'm gonna check real quick and see if there are any comments here today. And then there is a little tidbit that I want to share with all of you um, before we end the video today. So let me just take a quick look here and see if there are, and if any of you are watching live and want to say hi, then please do. I'm always happy to hear who's here with me live. Let's see. Okay, I see a couple of people are watching and a couple of hearts and it doesn't look like there are any questions or anything for me about how these videos are going to go. All right, so since most of this video was this introduction, the, the little takeaway that I wanted to give you today is um, I asked our founder, Rebecca, I asked her if there was one little piece that you wanted people to take away, if there was only one thing that you wanted them to get out of this work, what would it be? And she said that it would be the second principle of consciously parenting which is the parent-child relationship is more important than any behavioral intervention, consequence, or punishment. And we can extend that further and, and just say that nothing is more important than the relationship. And um, something came up on a call just yesterday, actually, about this. And so I want to share that. Um, I'm in the middle of a big move. And so I've been seeing a lot of, of my own and my family's imprints coming up and, and figuring out you know, how we can support what each person needs while also, you know, dealing with the, the amount of work that needs to happen to move. And, um, and something that I've noticed is that um, my husband will sometimes forget the last like 5% of finishing a task when he's really stressed. And this has always been a big trigger for me. This has been the source of many fights where I'm like, why can't you just finish it? Right. Um, and I had this shift in realizing that actually I can choose to take that instead of choosing to take that as a sign that he doesn't respect me or he doesn't uh, or he thinks that I am his maid and cleaning up after him or something like that. Instead, I can choose to take that as a sign that he's struggling and that he needs something. And I can choose to connect and see what he needs and how I how I can support him or how I can help him get his needs met instead of uh taking it as a sign of disconnection um, so i just wanted to share that one little tidbit today and um and give you that as some food for thought for this week of how can you prioritize the relationship with your kids over whatever it is that you're trying to get them to do or that you wish was happening and and what might that shift and i do see a couple of questions now um, about potential topics, attachment parenting with teens, dealing with our own inner child as informing us of our own parenting journeys. Um, and, and those, particularly the inner child might, might actually be more than one uh, video. I could see that being, being a series because that is just so foundational to all of this work. Uh, let me see, there is, um, another comment here saying, can I receive support in the family meeting between myself, 22 year old son and 16 year old son um, from Anna and Anna, you're welcome to bring any questions and, and things that you need support for to these videos, um, but these videos are not really a one on one lengthy support um, for that it we need to set up something that's more one on one, um, but absolutely you're welcome to bring the concerns and the support that you and your children are needing to these videos. And let me see, okay, I think that is all of the comments that we have that need a response today. So um, thank you all of you for the work that you're doing in your families. And I hope that you all have a lovely week and I will see you again next Wednesday.